ladies it's Alex I know it's been a minute but I'm coming to you all with some updates on my new eyes as I've recently got a LASIK procedure done on my eyes it was back on August the 18th so today is the 31st so it's been a little over a week since it's almost been like two weeks since I had this procedure um and I just wanted to come with you, to you all with an update and pretty much what all I went through after the procedure and just the whole nine yards. So pretty much to give you all an update, we'll just kind of catch you all up to speed on just my background. I've been wearing glasses since grade school. So I guess you start pre-K, kindergarten. That is how long I've been wearing glasses. And each year, my eyes have been getting worse. So, my father had LASIK done, I think, when it was brand new. And so far, he's been doing pretty good with it, has no issues. So, I was thinking, you know, let me save up my money because the amount of money I spent on contacts and also getting glasses, this is a good investment for myself in the future. And I'll save money after, um, you know throughout the years it'll just benefit me more and then I won't have to worry about waking up finding my glasses because I'm telling y'all before this I'm waking up I can't see shit I take out my glasses everything is blurry don't let me lose a contact it's horrid so being this blind I just knew I had to do something about it and um I only went to two actual um doctor's office to just go through the consultation to just fill them out see what they're talking about price rise and what are my options um the first doctor's office i went to was was diagnostic eye center and the second was lasik plus and lasik plus is a provider that is preferred by my insurance which is united healthcare the thing that was different from the two doctor's offices is LASIK Plus made me seem feel like they did they just wanted my money pretty much like let me get you in and out here's this here's that oh yeah I think this and I couldn't get any like true answers and then it irked me that I never even met the doctor so I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna meet the doctor that was gonna work on my eyes my eyes the only set of eyes that the Lord has gave me once and that was going to be the day of the procedure i didn't like it so with diagnostic eye center i was literally there for freaking two hours but it was worth it going through the procedure of them looking at my eyes telling me about my vision looking at my glasses comparing it and i watched videos i met with a doctor that was actually doing my procedure and his name is dr salem and he recently went through the procedure as well so he's telling me about his experience asking me if i have any questions it was so much love i felt and welcomeness like it just it felt comfortable it was up to my speed it was my type of place it's in the houston area near the galleria it's kind of in like um kind of bougie area but the people there made you not feel that way so it was very welcoming but Pretty much after they looked at my eyes at Diagnostic Eye Center, they told me that the original, the updated version of LASIK was not the best option for me because of the amount that I have, like the depthness of my eye. That procedure will get me to a level that will be kind of a caution and they didn't want me to go through that. So they recommended advanced surface abrasion and it's also known as PRK. Um, so basically with PRK, the day of my procedure, um, they told me to take a Valium. I got there and I was feeling kind of fine, you know, a little nervous because at the end of the day, it's your eyes. You, like I said, you only get one pair of eyes. So I take the Valium, they go through all the paperwork, take my money, and, um, the doctor talks to me about the process. They make sure that the volume is working. They determine if you need another volume. And I pretty much walked into the place. I lay there. I think they did like 30 seconds on each eye with the laser. And the difference with PRK is that 
they actually had to pull back a flap on my eye and then do the laser so he cut off a surface of my eye and then the laser for 30 seconds pushed everything back put a corrective lens as just like a perfect um, protection factor to keep on for about a week or so and then um that was it like after i left and went into the um little aftercare room i seen seen everything perfectly fine like it's, it felt like I had on my contacts. It was crazy. But the thing is with PRK, if I would have got LASIK, you know, I'll go home, take a nap. The next day, I'll have 20-20 vision. PRK, I woke up the next day and my vision was hazy. And basically, my doctor advised me, your vision is going to get worse before it gets better. So the next day, my vision got worse. And like... It was blurry. It was you. I was sensitive to light that weekend. Um, I pretty much no driving. He told me I thought I was gonna go to work on Monday. To I didn't go back to work until Wednesday because of just the feeling. It wasn't even necessarily the pain in my eyes because I really only went through pain maybe the first night, maybe the second. And after that, it was perfectly fine. It was just the caution of worrying about my vision because it was still to the point where I didn't feel comfortable because each day you seem to get be getting better, but you don't want to get out on the road without seeing. So I'm not, I'm going to be completely honest. Like I was panicking, like, did I make the wrong decision? What if I end up blind? What I'm going to do? I done paid all these money to these people. They're not going to give me a refund. But... I love the fact that my doctor was amazing. Like, Dr. Salem, like, at the procedure, he was like, I'm going to be texting you that night. But that night, I couldn't text. I couldn't talk to him because I was too, I was high on drugs. The drugs that they gave me for pain medicine, I'm knocked out. So, I didn't respond to him, I think, until the second day. And then it was still like, your vision is hazy. So, it's like, looking at your phone and the light was too bright. So, I'm like... But I love the fact that throughout the process, I'm texting him if I have any questions. Oh, I think I did this wrong. What do you think? Um, it was just a nice, comforting feeling to have your doctor be there to listen to you and give you guidance, especially with this hurricane. So the hurricane messed up my post-op visit. And I was supposed to go to my visit to see him this so today is the 31st i was supposed to go see him on um the 28th i had a, a appointment with him but due to the hurricane harvey i now don't go see him until next tuesday um so basically my whole post-op of like taking out the corrective lens that was protecting my eyes throughout the process of healing um i took that out myself now, this is something typically that I'm sure he doesn't do, but due to a natural disaster that we're dealing with, he told me, just go ahead and take it out yourself. He told me what kind of, like, eye drops I need to stop taking. And I just, I felt comfortable enough doing it because I've been talking through my to my doctor throughout the whole process with my concerns. Now, basically, after my procedure, I was given this little bag. People at my job laughed at me talking about it's a little heroin bag, but it had medicine. So, um, my, I was prescribed pain medicine. They gave me comfort drops that you would pretty much use usually like the first two days or so. And it was just like to ease your eyes to, from the pain, but mostly... I didn't I didn't see much difference with them. I truly preferred just taking a pain pill. And uh, my other drops were just prescribed from him that I got from my local pharmacy. And then also some dry eye relief drops. Now, um, with these drops, they tell you to use them as mo <laughs> use them as most as you can just to keep make sure your eyes are moist and do not get dry. Now, since my procedure, I've noticed that sometimes if my vision starts to get a little um, hazy, 
once I put these drops in, they get back to their normal state. So I think when they start getting dry, that's when you start having issues. So I really try to keep these on hand. I am on my second box now. Um, and I'm also down to only one prescribed eye drop. And then when I go see him next week, we'll go from there. The main thing that I hated about going through this procedure was these horrid goggles. These goggles bro broke out my face and they were the most unattractive thing my little cousin teased me she told me they were ugly but they give you these goggles when you leave the office because of course you don't want to be looking at the sun after you have a laser on your eye and it's just protection and it's what you have to wear at nighttime to avoid rubbing your eyes so imagine sleeping with this i have been sleeping with this damn thing since he texted me yesterday which was Wednesday oh my gosh like first off this is not cute just imagine <sighs> good morning like no so it really kind of cramped my style a little bit but I only had one issue with this and that made me start wearing them super tight and that's probably why my face broke out a little bit in this area is because one night I, I guess it moved up because I sleep really bad y'all and I think I rubbed my eye and I got the worst pain ever. It felt like I got this procedure all over again in my um, left eye. So this eye, because I rubbed it, it's a little bit more delayed in getting back to a good state of getting back to the clear vision than my right eye. But my doctor said it's normal. It should be okay. I even Googled it because I'm a WebMD Googling fiend. I'm a hypochondriac. I thought I was going to be blind, y'all. I'm sorry. But he said it was going to be okay. And so, so far, so good. It has been improving since I did rub it. And that day, I dealt with redness. And it was just hard for me to go to work that day. Like, I was squinting a lot. And at the computer, it was hard for me to um, do a lot of my work. But I made it through the day. And another thing that I'm taking is chewable vitamin C. Now, you don't take chewable, but I'm not dealing with big vitamin pills. He told me that I, um, he suggested me taking these as vitamin C helps your eyes um, heal. So, I've been taking them and they don't taste nasty. This is just a regular old CVS brand. You take two a day um, with a meal. I, sometimes I don't and it doesn't upset my stomach. But whatever it takes to get my eyes back fully. Now, um, I'll leave a description on the actual video letting you know the actual definition of the PRK procedure. But overall, I would recommend it to someone. Yes, PRK so far, I'm not fully there. I can admit to you. My eyes, I know for a fact, are not 20-20. But I trust in my doctor and I feel like that I'm on the road to getting there since every day I have seen improvement. And I also find comfort in the fact that I can now lay in my bed and watch TV without needing my glasses. So it's kind of crazy. Just imagine like ever since I was younger, I wore glasses. I, I depended on glasses. I couldn't just really go to the pool when I was younger because you don't you don't really typically wear contacts until middle school maybe high school so it's like you're at the pool you got to worry about your glasses or you can't see and it was you would lose them I don't have to worry about I get up I go I wash my face I can see and it's and it's it's the greatest feeling I can honestly tell you like I, I'm damn near about to cry right now because it's, I never thought that I would be at this point where I would not need my glasses. And, and it bothered me because I was really blind. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, and these are probably a little dirty because I don't use them anymore. But my frames were pretty thick. And these are them having them thin them out the best they could. And they're still poking out of my glasses. And with my contacts, you know, I had astigmatism 
and just overall bad vision on top of that and so my prescription for my last most my most current contacts were a negative sag of seven oh, not a negative seven a negative six and a negative 2.25 and prior to dr salem my vision was pretty much screwed like he could tell that i have been wearing glasses my whole life but i don't know guys like i pretty much it depends on the person i know it's a scary thing because you don't like like i said you only have one pair of eyes but i've had friends that tried it and they feel like this is the best decision they made my father went through it and i feel like since he was okay i i should be okay but i definitely feel like i made a good decision and if anyone is considering it I would definitely look into it and just go to different providers and um, doctors in your office that do the laser procedure and make go follow your heart. You, you know what's best for you. This to me is almost like giving a boob job. Like you want to shop around, find people, and make the best decision. Now I can say that this procedure um, is not cheap at all. And I'm trying to find the actual price for you all. So it was a thousand and nine hundred and fifty dollars per eye if you use cash, um, credit card, debit, things of that nature. If you financed it, it was two thousand and two hundred dollars per eye. Um, I chose to do the cash route. Um, I paid a certain amount um, out of cash and then the rest I charge with a 12 month interest free program where my monthly payments will be $167 a month till I pay it off within that 12 months. So it truly wasn't that bad. I. I would definitely recommend that doctor's office or if you are in the Houston area, my cousin that was my ride because you have to have somebody drive you that day because it's no way in hell you can drive your ass home. Like I was literally with those ugly shade goggles on covering my eyes because she took the wrong way and had us in Houston traffic. But a diagnostic eye center. Love them. Find one in your area that is as good as them i love dr salem if you are in the houston area i would definitely recommend this this is not an ad I, i'm not getting paid for shit i paid him he didn't pay me but i will keep you all posted on more of my visits i may do a, like a month follow-up to just let you all know what's next and if anybody has any questions or concerns drop them in the box like this video subscribe and i will be in touch love you guys